A road trip home for the holidays over before it barely started for a Logan Square couple. Their gut told them to take a COVID test when they stopped at the gas station. Good thing they did. Tim McNicholas is live in the loop with how the surge in cases is ruining Christmas plans. Tim. Erica, here is a stocking stuffer that many people opened up early at home COVID tests. These are flying off the shelves this week and in some cases keeping families from spreading COVID. We're supposed to be at Christmas Eve at my sister's house. The smell of mom's pumpkin pie, that fresh caprese salad and never ending dad jokes. Yeah, <laughs> that's how John and Jen Nodell envisioned Christmas Eve. Instead, earlier my symptoms were pretty bad, so I was just kind of he was out. The couple is stuck at home watching Christmas movies on Netflix. That's a little blow molded uh, Santa here. You can only look out the window and talk to me over the phone. We're trying to keep our spirits up and uh, you know make the best of it. We're going to zoom with our family a little bit later. The Nodells plan to drive from Logan Square to their family in Ohio Thursday night. They couldn't find any COVID tests in Chicago, so John bought some along the way in South Bend and took one test in the car. 100 miles from home, he got some positively bad news. I just stared at it for a second. I'm like, is this serious? I mean, we, is this happening? Like, we're really going to drive back to Chicago? Back to Chicago they went, and they're not alone in their holiday headaches. We talked to other Chicagoans who say their holiday party plans are a negative thanks to a positive test. They all agreed it's better than unknowingly spreading the virus. It just really drives home how important it is for everybody to test. We, we thought we were cautious, but... Double vaccinated it, and yeah, it, it, still, it still got us. The Nodells ordered themselves some extra Christmas gifts so they can spend more time unwrapping Christmas morning. We thought last year was a Christmas to remember, but, <laughs> you know, life always has other plans, so yeah. we'll yeah. see what next year holds. And that is just one of the stories I heard today. I also talked to a man who celebrates every year at his cousin's house. He tested positive, so now he's resting at home. I just talked to a family that hosts every year. One of them is feeling sick, so they called the whole thing off, and the list goes on. A whole lot of quarantine Christmases happening out there. Live in the Loop, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. Thank you, Tim.